So last week, we got ourselves some very sad news. The Super Duper Graphics Pack was cancelled. And well, while everybody's hope was pretty much lost at that moment, one thing did come out of the rubble. Okay, we got ourselves the Render Dragon and Video Ray Tracing coming, and I am so, so excited. And if you think I'm overly excited, because you're probably thinking, oh, this will probably get cancelled too. Well, one, the Render Dragon is already being used. That's right, it's already being used in Minecraft Earth, and it is part of the Bedrock Engine, if you didn't know that. But we're just going to go ahead and take a look at all these things that are going on about for the ray tracing at first off, and then we'll talk about the Render Dragon. Because it's saying that Minecraft is on so many platforms, and the great thing about that is that it opens up so many fun possibilities about how we could change the experience for each one. We added touch controls when we developed the mobile version, which was Minecraft Pocket Edition and CPE, put you inside Minecraft on Gear VR, and enabled multiplayer across consoles and devices with a Better Together update. Today, we're announcing two new ways we're taking advantage of existing and updating hardware. One, we're expanding the scope of Minecraft on Bedrock platforms with our new engine, Render Dragon. Second, we're pushing the graphical possibilities of the game by partnering with NVIDIA to bring real-time ray tracing to Minecraft. Prepare your eyes. It just looks incredible. It just looks amazing. And personally, I'm like super, super hyped for this. And let's go and read what they're talking about here. We couldn't be more excited to take advantage of the new ray tracing technology from NVIDIA. It will be played on Windows 10 with devices that are capable of DirectXR. So it's going to be like your super powerful computers, such as with an NVIDIA GeForce RTX GPU. We plan to expand it to future platforms that support DirectXR ray tracing. So bear that in mind, it will be expanding as time goes on. With the capabilities of this tech, you'll be able to experience your Minecraft worlds with realistic lighting, vibrant colors, realistic water that reflects and reflects naturally, and emissive textures that light up. And what does emissive mean? It means you're about to see Minecraft like you've never seen it before. Well, actually, emissive is a technical adjective which means having the power to radiate something, especially light, heat, or radiation. But shh, don't ruin the moment. Watch the video below of ray tracing in action instead. You know what? That's a great idea, Minecraft. Let's play the video. Minecraft is many things to many people. It is a creative tool, it is a game to get immersed in, it is anything that you would want it to be. Ray tracing is one of the key innovations that we think is next for Minecraft. Our tech gives us that custom flavor for each block that you can't see anywhere else. We wanted to keep the authentic look of Minecraft and still push the boundaries with ray tracing. RTX gives the Minecraft world a brand new feel to it. In normal Minecraft, a block of gold just appears yellow. But with ray tracing turned on, you really get to see the specular highlight, you get to see the reflection, you can even see a mob reflected in it. When light catches or deep in a cave and you see its diamond, you get that rush of excitement in a way you haven't had before. We can see the subtle reflections in the wood planks, the light seeping in through the windows. They hit the colored carpet and reflect off the wall and subtly color the walls and the environment all around them. Now that we can model each individual light ray, we have the opportunity to simulate these advanced materials like ice. Emissive blocks such as lava now glow with more intensity, radiating blooms of light that cast onto adjacent blocks revealing reflections of the ore. We can model exactly how light filters through foliage as it lands on the ground. We can model the atmospheric density. As light comes through, it forms natural light shafts. With RTX and Minecraft, water now looks like water. You see the reflection, you see the refraction, you see the color transmission through the surface. Working with NVIDIA to implement ray tracing for Minecraft has been incredible. It has allowed the team here to focus just on Minecraft the game, and NVIDIA has focused on the underlying technology for ray tracing. And together, we've gotten to a point where we can really see Minecraft with ray tracing come alive right in front of our eyes. This is what we needed in order to, with confidence, go out and tell our community ray tracing is coming. 
and you can come along for the ride. Now, I hope you enjoyed that video, and just let me know what you think of that down below in the comments. And then let's go ahead and get right into some more news here. It says that we'll have more news to share later this year as the technical requirements. So yeah, they will be telling you on what your PC does require in order to run this ray tracing. Naturally, we want your feedback through every step of this process. That's why we plan to enable you to preview the new ray tracing features by turning on optional graphics with RTX in the settings screen of Minecraft in a future beta. So this will be expected to come in the new year and it's going to be really, really insane. I'm super, super excited for this. We also plan to enable some of these new features such as improved emissivity and directional lighting on other bedrock platforms. Speaking of which, Render Dragon. Yeah, we've got the Render Dragon. You'll see individual Minecraft Bedrock platforms update in the months. And as we learn the capabilities of a lovely new game engine, the Render Dragon. You may have already seen a preview of Render Dragon in action if you watched Apple's Worldwide Developer Conference on stage when we were demoing Minecraft Earth. I definitely remember that. It featured edge eye lighting and new lighting techniques, which is just the start of a visual and performance upgrades we're planning to make with the Render Dragon. Render Dragon supports a range of graphical features depending on what your device is capable of. Not all devices will support ray tracing, but we will have some graphics enhancements on most devices. Again, it's all about taking advantage of different hardware to offer the smoothest Minecraft experience possible, no matter what device you're playing on. We'll have more news to share soon, so you can start trying out the new ways to play. That is all the news and information that we have regarding the Render Dragon engine and the NVIDIA Ray Tracing. And I, yet again, I'm just really, really impressed. I'm really excited. But anyway, just let me know what you think of this down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, then also let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe so you never miss an upload. Remember to tap the bell to stay notified. And for now, I hope you have a logical day, and I will catch you next time. Bye!